At the beginning of the movie, someone is telling us that when everyone was living a peaceful life in the world, nine-tailed fox started attacking humans and when people tried to save themselves from it. It spread devastation everywhere God gave a job to stop its devastation and kill it a man named Jiang Zia. He was very brave and powerful. By using his power and intelligence, he not only defeated the fox but also imprisoned him in his magical mask. When he takes it to the court and was about to end it, the fox says, Jiang Zia, you will kill me. But what will you do about the girl I have captured her body? As he hears this, he frees the fox despite God's refusal who was asking him to end that fox. Because it is trapping you but he didn't think so. In the punishment of all this, God sends him on the earth while taking all the powers he got from heaven. And after it, the earth is shown after ten years. The nine-tailed fox had spread devastation everywhere and because of this, humans were almost extinct there. Somewhere there was a human and the huge monsters have occupied that place. Here, Jiang Zia was living with his companion and pet, his companion was still saying, Jiang Zia, you can be wrong. You didn't listen to God so go to heaven and apologize to God again that fox was deceiving you. Jiang Zia was still adamant that the fox was right. Now he goes to a place to eat something where he sees the same girl he saw inside the nine-tailed fox. He wanted to know who this girl was, did she know anything about the nine-tailed fox? And Sophia, who had come here to take a map but as she steals the map and runs away people try to capture her. In all this, her mask comes off and everyone finds out that she is also a fox. As we all know the fox spread devastation all over the earth because of which humans died. Humans used to hate the fox and in this hatred, they also started ending it but she shows her smartness and leaves. Jiang Zia also follows her to the place about which people used to believe that God has cursed this place. And has imprisoned the nine-tailed fox at this place. As he comes here, someone attacks her pet, it was no one else but Sophia, who wanted to take the same map from the pet. At the same time, Jiang Zia also catches Sophia and asks her about the nine-tailed fox. But Sophia did not know anything about it. Then a shadow comes and it was of the nine-tailed fox that was taking Sophia from there. But Jiang Zia with the help of light flees the shadow from there and asks Sophia about this whole story. Sophia did not know anything and says, I was going to that place to find out where black flowers are produced. Because every night my father and black flowers come in my dream. Jiang Zia now wanted to go with her. They keep walking and on the way, Sophia, gets a necklace of bones, they see that place with attention. So there were many more magical things in this place like magical dolls, stones, clothes on which something was written. She picked up the necklace of bones and kept it with her. After moving further she meets a flock of crows. As the girl takes out her knife to fight them a drop of her own blood falls there in the snow. Because she cut her hand and with the dangerous smell of this blood the monsters of that place woke up. Who were now attacking Sophia. They were angry at Sophia because she was also a fox. Then Jiang Zia's pet tries to save Sophia but it was also trapped. And then Jiang Zia comes to save both of them. This pet wanted to help his owner in this fight and gets into this fight but it could not fight. So Sophia goes ahead to save it. In the meantime, the necklace of bones had fallen from her bag. As they see it, the souls of all the monsters there become calm. Here Jiang Zia's companion also came who always told her to go back to heaven. Jiang Zia says that I want to know the truth about the nine-tailed fox and I have also found the girl. Whom I saw inside the nine-tailed fox. After hearing this, her companion thinks that Sophia is the girl who is the nine-tailed fox and he was going to kill her. Here that pet who had become a friend of Sophia wants to save her but that man also drops the pet far away. That pet was lost like this Sophia goes ahead to find it and by mistake goes into a cave of a strange man. This crazy man catches Sophia and sees a bracelet on her body that works to unite two people and if one of them die, then the other one also dies. Sophia was surprised to hear this story as she did not know anything about it. 
This man was now treating Sophia badly because of it, she was screaming. Because of this sorrow, the soul of the nine-tailed demon also comes out of Sophia, that gone somewhere with Sophia. When Jiang Zia sees the soul of the nine-tailed fox, he also follows her to the place where she used to live. Here, she tells the truth that Sophia was a little girl and I have captured her body. She says that God has made a bracelet for the Sophia, and there are my powers inside it. Right now because the nine-tailed fox and Sophia were separate, he takes advantage of the opportunity. And tries to kill her but his misfortune because he did not have his powers. He wasn't able to fight the nine-tailed fox, how could he end it, meanwhile, his companion having powers comes in the form of a lion. He becomes a three-faced magical lion but he also could not stand in front of the nine-tailed fox. Jiang Zia, who was trying to break the nine-tailed fox's bracelet that kept him connected to Sophia. He also did not succeed in breaking it because he could not break anything without God. Taking advantage of this, nine-tailed fox imprisons Jiang Zia, his companion and Sophia. Then enters Jiang Zia's pet as a huge unicorn, it hits the nine-tailed fox with its horns and drops it far away. And saves all the people from there. While moving ahead but it could not fly much. It turns out that the nine-tailed fox had attacked him with its venomous claws because of which it died. Everyone was sad about this. Now Jiang Zia and his companion are sitting and talking. His companion says when you were ending the nine-tailed fox. Then why did God say there is no girl in it and nine-tailed fox is trapping you? Only God could answer this. That's why he wanted to talk to God. He tries to contact God but his magical powers were less but his companion with the help of his magic takes him to heaven. Here, Jiang Zia goes and asks all these questions to God and he asks why did you lie to me? Why did you put that girl's life in danger? To which God replies nine-tailed fox was powerful and to defeat her it was necessary that half of her power be given to someone else's body that's why I put half of her power into Sophia's body. The reason for lying to you was because I know you are very merciful and you won't kill a little girl. He says it wasn't bad for me to lie because if a girl's death can save 100 people there is nothing wrong with it. Jiang Zia says for me, one life is as important as 100 lives I will save, Sophia, and I will finish that nine-tailed fox. Then God says now nothing else can be done except that you give birth to Sophia again in some other body. Coming back to the world, he was facing the nine-tailed fox again. Jiang Zia's companion starts fighting with nine-tailed fox. While Jiang Zia moves forward with Sophia to put her soul in some other body. And on the way, he was telling her that now you will be alive in some other body. As Sophia hears this, she asks will I find my dad then? Which Jiang Zia didn't have an answer to. The companion of Jiang Zia, who was fighting with nine-tailed fox didn't have much strength. And in all this, nine-tailed fox killed him. Before Jiang Zia could finish his work and would have put Sophia's soul in some other body. That nine-tailed fox spoils all this work while coming there. Here, the chamber that fox had broken all the souls lived here, those souls who had to go to another body. Who had to be reincarnated and because of the breaking of this place a lot of fox souls come out of here. Jiang Zia is surprised to see that there are so many souls in it but why didn't they be born again? Then Fox tells him that God deceived us, God told me to kill nine-tailed God means to kill my leader. And told me that if you do this work then you will be made the next God, I did my work but still, I didn't become God. And neither did he reincarnate all the Fox who were with me means God deceived us. Nine-tailed Fox was looking furious after telling all this to Jiang Zia. It goes to attack heaven with all the souls of her companions and God was also seeing this. He knew that Jiang Zia can't stop that fox and he had to do this work. He plucks a leaf of the magical flower and attacks them so that LL the souls would be destroyed. Jiang Zia was trying to save Sophie but the fox's souls had also caught her with all these fox souls, it also died. So Jiang Zia who was told that after the death of nine-tailed fox he will become God. Now it was time to become God. 
When he comes to heaven as God the people there tell him you will have to bend down but he becomes furious. And does not bow his head here and says that there is a lot of injustice in heaven. How can he kill someone and do justice and he broke the whole heaven in anger. Along with the old God, he had imprisoned all the people of heaven because heaven was also destroyed. Because of this, all the souls in heaven were freed and came back to the world means, now there was peace in the world. All the people who had died had come back to the world and they started living happily. Jiang Zia, who was now a god also lived on earth instead of heaven and loved Sophie like a father. Because he had seen that, Sophie was always looking for her dad. Here, her pet was also born again. Now in the last scene, it is shown that some of her friends come to Jiang Zia's house. One of his friend's son is Neja and he was very surprised to see Neja. Because he had all the things that should be in a big god and he decides to make him the next god. Here this story concludes.